is Frida Tate. If you're new here, welcome. You are very welcome. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and turn on that post notification button so that each time I upload a brand new video, you are alerted. In today's video, I'm going to interview one of my tenants who has been away from Zambia for almost two years. Because of the lockdowns and everything, he couldn't come back. So, I am just curious to know what he thinks about or how he feels about coming back. So, watch this interview. This is Summer, and of course, you know James. Hello. And today we are going to interview, interview Summer, one of our tenants that has been away for how long? Now? Oh. Almost oh. two years. One year, nine months. Yeah. Ten months. Yeah. Yeah. And he went home, and like uh, this is when COVID 19 was actually at its height and so because of the lockdown air travel was restricted and everything so he was literally literally locked exactly yeah when you went back what was it like december of 2019 well, yeah exactly 2019 december and I went back only supposed for three months and come back. Then yeah. We, then we were blocked. The outbreak that happened just after you went. You went just before. Exactly. And then two years. Two years. Two years later. Six months later. Welcome back home. Thank you so Your much. Your second home. And you know I missed a lot. Zambia. Yeah. Too much. Uh -huh. uh, the country I missed. Here, the house, James. The banana. The banana. It's okay, banana. You will buy the banana. Oh yeah, and we just had a lot of bananas from your trip. I know. Yeah. You have to pay me back. Now. Whatever. Yeah. We'll, we'll talk about that later. All right. But but I I don't know how many uh, butters we have we we've had from your tree because I also oh, have other okay. trees okay. in the garden. Yeah, sure. But anyway, it's just a joke, okay. right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah, so let's get back to the story. Mm, yeah. So, how was the situation back home with COVID 19? Here? No, no, oh, no. Oh, it was there. terrible. It was terrible. You know, really, it was a very bad year of 2020. Yeah. Even I was almost, you can say, one year home. Oh, and wow. Then, uh, yeah, it was terrible in Lebanon. You know, even a small country, it's all uh, 10,000 kilometers. Right. Uh -huh. So people, uh, they most they know each other. They are gathering yeah. together, so it spread fast. And, oh wow! Uh, this is uh, what's, uh, a lot yeah. of cases. A lot of cases, lot of death. Ah. Mm -hmm. And also they have uh, blocked the country for several times. Yeah. Times they opened and they again locked down. Ah, yeah, locked down too much. So at least 2020 was over. Eh? 2021 start coming the vaccination. Okay. Uh, this is what delayed me also. I have to wait and uh, I was worried traveling in the airplane to come mm -hmm. here to, uh, to combine with people and you know, uh, to, uh, it would be a little bit dangerous for Corona. And I said, let me wait till I vaccinate first. Ah. Then on 2021 start in Lebanon coming on February, March. Mm -hmm. That's the first coming you know, of vaccination. Okay. Is that when you did? I did it on August because they give it on age. You start from the older ages then uh -huh. going down. Okay. So you, yeah. you, you, you make your uh, online. That makes sense. The yes. messiest people first. Exactly. Right? The, 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 yeah. The bigger ones. Yeah. The older. But you don't have to mention the 
kind of vaccine that you've got no, no, no. because we are not being sponsored by them, right? So, <laughs> so anyways, yeah, we're glad that you are back and we, yeah. I'm very really glad also because I'm here in Zambia. I missed it. I like this country. Uh -huh. uh, the people are good. And the climate is very good. Everything is good here. Yeah. It's really relaxing. Relaxing too yeah. much. In Lebanon, yeah. headache too much. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> the truth. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. How's the situation of COVID 19 right now in Lebanon? Uh, it went down, it was mm -hmm. getting better after vaccination, but then comes the third uh, what wave, wave from yeah. India, I think. Uh, at least now it's better, but not, you can't say it's safe, no. Yeah. Uh, still cases, 500, 600 cases a day, almost. Let's uh, be positive and talk about something positive. About the flight. Yeah, how was your flight? Uh, it was perfect. Back to you, it was into perfect. Zambia. How long? I came uh, with the Emirates airline, you know, when I go. Oh, they're yeah. pretty nice. And also I have to talk about Emirates, they are perfect. Yeah. Because I bought the tickets from here mm -hmm. 2019. Oh, wow. Going and coming back. Uh, return ticket. Return ticket. Mm -hmm. So even I delayed two years on the return ticket and they didn't cancel my uh, my ticket. That's pretty so, nice. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. And it was perfect. But you obviously talked to them. No, 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 just they told me when I called to reserve, they said you can yeah. spend to one year more. They oh, yeah. Me, nah, it's okay. How long does it take to get from, uh, from Lebanon to here? How many uh, hours? From Lebanon to Dubai first. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, it's around four hours. And then from so Dubai to Zambia around six, six, thirty, six hours. 30 That's it? Yes, ten hours. I thought it would be longer than that. It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, here's Africa, right? Quite a long distance. Yeah, yeah. no, six hours, six thirty. Yes. Yeah. And uh, how much time did you have in Dubai? Did you? Uh, it's only uh, two hours, no? Two hours. Oh, okay. So you shopping. just Brand, yeah, yeah. Huh? yeah. No shopping. No shopping. So uh, no you shopping. stayed in the airport. Yeah. On <laughs> okay. the way back, when you are traveling from here, you have maybe four hours. You can just uh, stop and shop. Okay, that's nice. So, did you bring some dates from Lebanon? I bring some. I gave some. Even uh, James, he like I know he like. I gave him a few some. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. These are the dates. Oh, like yeah. the dates? I really so, like the dates. I love the dates. So <laughs> these are uh, what's in here? It's a kind of cookie. Cookies. Yeah. Tell cookies. us. Tell us. Yeah. So like what you told me. Uh huh. Go ahead. The cookies. The cookies. You brought these, right? Yes. We are very famous there in Lebanon, they make it. This shop is very famous in it. And uh -huh. I like it all over. It must be always in my home, always, always, when I'm there. Now I will run out you know, when you come here. Uh -huh. yeah, just, so what yeah. are you gonna do? Like uh, visit the Lebanese shops? Yes. No, they don't have this, they don't bring it here. They okay. only bring the dates, uh -huh. like cookies like this. Yeah. And you know the dates that comes here, it's there are too many types. Okay. Uh, but I like this type, the guy who is making this cookies. Uh, you know, you have a lot of more uh, sweets he makes. Uh, yeah. Cookies, uh, another Lebanese uh, uh, sweets. So this is famous, so I don't eat from everywhere. You have to know from what yeah. you pick. Uh, uh, tell me, because I know you are also health conscious. And so you, uh, you select what you eat. Uh, I, want, I just want to know about that because the dates are all obviously so sweet and whatever. Like, how is the sweet that comes from the date compared to the refined sugar that we buy? No, this is a normal sugar uh -huh. that comes from the dates, and it's very healthy mm -hmm. uh, to have uh, three or four dates in the morning. Okay. Very, very healthy, uh, and it's a normal sugar. Uh -huh. It's not added anything. This is the good in it. Okay, that's nice. And if you Google it, you check the dates, what's the benefit of it? It's yeah. not too many benefits. Very healthy. Very much. And a natural too. A natural, exactly, 100%. So there you go, you go, guys. That is summer, and that's his stay in Lebanon, being away for almost two years. Exactly. Out of Zambia. You heard it. 
you heard him and so that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed this interview and we'll see you in my next video bye now thank you <laughs>